What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a blinking effect in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this tutorial, I'd like to say this was a requested tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So this is the footage I have and all I'd done for this footage to record it was hold the DSLR at my head height, I was lying on my bed, I sat up and I started to look around as you can see. For those that watch my short film, you'll notice this is that same clip I used. So, at the start here, all we're going to do is start splitting it where we want this blinking to occur. But the first thing, as you'll see here, I started shaking a bit because I was setting up, so we're just going to trim out that first part. Now I'm just going to play across a bit. I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split here, and this is three seconds I think that's good enough and now from here you don't actually want to just keep splitting come across your video a bit like here like a little bit of like maybe two seconds or a second and then come across like about three or four seconds and press s on your keyboard again and same again split across I actually made a mistake here I took a snapshot with the camera when I was trying to focus so we can skip past this part like here and now I'm gonna come across another three seconds or four seconds maybe press s on my keyboard again drag this here then I'm gonna come across again to when I get back to the front which is right here and I roll back and press S on my keyboard again and I'm going to delete the remainings here and drag this right here. So this is the raw footage right now, just play this through, so as you can see we slowly begin to sit up then it jumps forward again, it's going to jump again like that and then it's going to jump going back. So now we add this sort of blinking effect. So we're going to come to the corners and this is all done off fading. So we're going to fade this in and the longer the fade, the fade on the uh, first one has to be longer. So make sure this fade in is long and the fade out is shorter like that. And then for the rest of them you can just match them up so they can be pretty even. You can see right now we're having difficulties and it's not letting me get this fade. If that is the case with you just right click insert a new video track, drag this video on top and now just fade it back it out like so. Actually a shorter fade out but a longer fade in. So let's play this through. As you can see, fade it in. And then we go off screen like that. Now another thing that I done in my horror movie, I actually highlighted all the videos like so and I lowered the opacity down. Not by too much, so by 70%, maybe 60. Um, yeah, I'll go about 60 and let's play this through. As you can see, it just creates a darker effect on the scene itself. And then of course I had the cinematic black bars along with the ambient noise and the panting. That is how you create the blinking effect in Sony Vegas. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this tutorial has helped you. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.